Welcome to Full Auto with Dimitri and Paul, your home for self-defense and self-preservation since 2016. The date is October 25th, 2016, and you're listening to the episode. Actually, I was going to be telling you about your hot new gun, and I changed it to show me your hot new gun, Dimitri. Welcome to the show, co-host Dimitri. Bang! Yeah. That was inappropriate. Yeah. I had to bleep that out. Can't believe you said that yeah. on Hello. national radio. How are you, Paul? Hey, could you... Talk away from the mic instead of muffling it. Not too loud. Uh, okay, and now, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. New Shooting Self-Defense presents a state of wake joint. Grab your beer, your ammo, and your Clipozine Glockomatic as we take you through a full auto hour of fast, funny, deadly, Serious talk about guns. If you cry when someone draws a picture of a gun on a piece of paper in front of you, you best stay away because you are about to enter a gun-filled zone. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Full Auto with Dimitri and Paul. That's right, I'm Paul and this is... Dimitri, together we are. Auto, auto. On this show, we cover a warning for concealed carriers in defense assault. In the segment, mind your own gun. In tac tech, we talk new AR platform calibers in not your grandpa's AR. And finally, in happy ending, we document a follow up to another homeowner protecting herself with a gun in. Save yourself. Share the good gun news. But before we begin, let's get you fully prepared because it could get a little dangerous. Grab your seats, adjust your headphones, and brace yourselves for you are about to enter a full auto hour of a gun filled zone. I got my gangster guy here, yo. What up, cuz? Break yourself, break yourself, break yourself. Cuz? This is a ghost gun. This right here has ability with a 30 caliber clip to disperse with 30 bullets within half a second. 30 magazine clip in half a second. We have federal regulations and state laws that prohibit hunting ducks more than three rounds. And yet, it's legal to hunt humans. Shut up to my little friend! Sonia just said, well, that's it. We're, we're not doing, we're not do- saying that again. And imposed very severe, tough uh, gun laws. And they, ha- they haven't had a mass shooting since. You know, semi-automatic weapons are not just about gun control. This is about national security. You know that these weapons can shoot down airplanes. <clears throat> break yourself! Break yourself! Break yourself! The big difference between an assault rifle and a hunting rifle is, frankly, the scope. On it and scoops can be purchased online. Okay. How many people have concealed carry permits? How many people have disarmed in our major major cities? How's that going? We cannot let a minority of people hold a viewpoint that terrorizes the majority of people. Moment with a hunting rifle, um, very easily, as long as it was a double shot weapon, they can, they can easily do it with something they can purchase at a grocery store. Shut up to my little friend! This is the second amendment is in the Constitution so that we could have muskets when uh, the British people come over in 1800. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? You get to ask yourself one question Do I feel lucky? What do you bunk? Hey, I didn't see you there. I'm just sitting over here. 
I'm just piling up, polishing up my pool stick, getting ready to play myself some bumper pool. Come on over and play some bumper pool with me. No, you like thanks. that? You you didn't no. you, you like that intro? I think I've been working no, on no, it. No, no. I worked on that no. intro just for you. I spent three days. Please stop owning... working on your intro, dude. That. <laughs> That intro was the bomb. That's probably the best intro. Well, it's second best intro. I think the first intro was still the the Rice Krispies intro. And if you guys don't know what the Rice Krispies intro is, uh, you need to go back uh, back a step. This is going to be defense assault here. But before we get into it, I just want to just want to briefly uh, mention a couple things here. Uh, some uh, some housekeeping, Dimitri. Are you ready for some housekeeping notes here? Go nuts. I'm going to go nuts your, on the housekeeping. With your housekeeping. <laughs> you know I am. Go nuts. Last week's show, Gun Control is Racist, had over 150 live listeners on Spreaker.com alone. And that's just on Spreaker.com. And remember, we're also syndicated on IPMNation.com. That's IPMNation.com. And I think we're we're over 200 listens for that uh, episode already as of right now. And should we reveal when we're recording this show? Who cares? Do you think? What, what do you mean? You don't think that people care that we're recording this Saturday night, the night that the Chicago Cubs, you, when you're, the when Chicago you're... Cubs are going to the World Series for the first time since 1945. The goat, the curse of the goat is dead. Well, not really, because they still have to win. You know what I'm talking about? No. You don't sports ball. You don't. No, I don't sports well. You you don't do the sports balling. No. You know what I prefer doing? I prefer shooting. I prefer shooting. And cleaning my shooting implements. And cleaning my shooting implements. Right. And, And repairing my shooting implements. And repairing my shooting implements. And studying about shooting implements. And how long did you date your cousin? Not long. <laughs> Not long. <laughs> Not long. You transitioned out of that quickly. That's yes. good. He, he wasn't into it. Oh, did not see that coming. Did not see that. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Well, the cousin no, thing. No, no. <laughs> so We're this is joking and poking fun. Just joking and poking fun. So this is defense assault. And the title of this segment is Mind Your Own Gun. And it's a it's a cautionary tale. Defense Assault. Facing the assault on our defense. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. You know, I think I think that's the one that you, you like, like the, the most, creepy right? Dude on the family guy. Him. Oh, that's exactly. Hey, Chris, why don't you come on over, paper boy? Come on over. You know you want to come over. Ah, get your ass over here. Did I say ass? I did. Yeah, I'm have to bleep that, that out. Yes, that guy. <laughs> exactly that guy. So you have the show notes there in front of us. Do you want to walk us through this, or do you want me to? Too? What do you want to do not, here? Not in. I have no inkling in reading. You have no inklink in reading? Inkl- no, no inklink. inklink. Well, I'm, I'm very surprised when you say inklink that you have no inklink in reading. It's, it's no shocking. Inklink. This is from bearingarms.com. And bearing this... arms? Like ball bearing arms? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ball bearing arms. So when they say you bear arms, they mean like bar- ball bearing? Yeah, you bearing? know, I'm, I'm part of a coalition. It's, uh, it's called the, the, the Bear Nukes Coalition. And it's a, it's a coalition that favors. Uh, we're just taking we're just taking things to the extreme because it's fun, and it basically it's a it's a coalition that's for uh, anybody who can afford it uh, bearing nuclear arms. I mean, oh, like Putin. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah Vlad's just an is individual he, is, with some bombs. Hey, with some is he part bombs. of your club? He is not, and so, uh, he does not. Ayatollah? He is also not part of my club, and he Obama? would not approve of me being in his club. Neither Obama? one of those guys. Definitely, I mean, Obama no. Some nukes? I mean, yeah, he's yeah, they're temporarily. Yeah, so he's he's, he's running them. He's running them. He, I, I don't know. Okay, so I, I won't go down that road because I'm a decent human being, and I'm going to try to stick to the story here because I'm a decent human being. So the story is: uh, gun control supporter steals concealed carrier shot gunshots, or excuse me, whatever. 
uh, whatever the title is, Google it, man. Leave me alone. An apparent, and you're dogging me for not reading this. Okay. I'm trying my best. I'm pushing through here. The Chicago Cubs are going to the World Series. It's a little. And you're it's, into their goat. Is that what you're saying? I'm not you're into their goat. goat. What I am into is that. Not because, but the goat. No, there's some history that's being made is here. Goat, it's, is the goat hot? The goat. Well, I. I don't, I don't, I don't ask those kind of questions. I, it's interesting that you would, that would be a question that you would be asking right now. I, on the other hand, it's, it's not even a question that crossed my mind. And you I'm just to be obsessed with the goat. So I was wondering if the goat was hot. So. <laughs> it's the goat was definitely, the, the, I'm not going to tell you the Chicago Cubs goat story because that would probably take the rest of this segment. Google it folks. So an apparent gun control supporter was enraged to see a poorly concealed handgun on another man one afternoon last week in Overland Park, Kansas, and apparently lost his sanity. Dude, he lost his sanity. A 59-year-old Overland Park man was charged Thursday with shooting another man in the leg after taking a gun away from the victim. Ricky Paul Smith was charged with uh, in Johnson County District Court with aggravated battery. He also was charged with aggravated assault after allegedly pointing the gun at another man. I believe said did murder. He shot him in the leg, and plus he was, uh, you know, he wasn't the right kind of political persuasion to charge him with murder. Police said Smith was allegedly upset about another man carrying a concealed weapon. Ah, oh, you offended me. I can shoot you. He took the gun away from the man, pointed it at him and another man, and shot the victim in the leg, according to the allegations. Mr. Smith is very lucky that he's not facing additional charges for robbery and attempted murder. He's very, very, very lucky. So what happened was he seized the handgun, and he pointed at both the victim and another man. He then shot the victim under, it says here, circumstances that appear to be unclear. So it's possible that the man, maybe he didn't, you know, it would be a gun control guy that doesn't know if you pull the trigger, it go boom. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, because I'm, I'm, I'm betting that the guy did not have good trigger discipline. What do you think? I'm thinking the booger hook went right for the trigger. You know, what do you think? Right? Am I right? I'm right, right? Uh, he didn't have good booger hook <laughs> discipline. <laughs> he didn't. He lacked booger hook dis- discipline. He totally I, was in the dark, I'm guessing, man. I'm guessing he lacked a lot of other kinds of discipline in his life as well. Right. So so uh, maybe maybe he shouldn't have been charged with murder. It could very well be the guy. Uh, uh, the guy, he just did not a, for operate Pops? a gun. He probably, you know, he grabbed the gun. <laughs> I could just, I mean, I don't know, he's probably, his, the gun was probably shaking. You know, he probably was reaching for his rape whistle because he somehow thought the gun could theoretically rape him. I'm putting two and two together. I've met these people. They all have the, rape whistles. The guy who was or maybe anti-guns not. Grabbed wrestled the gun. a gun from a peaceful no, person. Grabbed it. Grabbed it, it yeah, said. Didn't wrestle. Wrestled it. Well, grabbed it from his person. And shot him with it. Yeah, and and all the more reason to carry a gun. Yeah, all the real, re- all the also all the more reason. Now this said this was a concealed carrier, but yeah, obviously well, not well, a really good job on the concealment part. So this no. guy, the person who wrote this article, said, in my experience, poor concealment is typically a combination of a poor choice of apparel, a poor choice of holster, and poor holster position. What would you say to that? It, I would say I see plenty of people open carry around these parts, and I am always. Uh, we live in Canada, by the way. We all live in Canada, yes. yeah. and I um, I'm always squeamish. Like, dude, I could so easily take that away from you. Um, please don't. Yeah, do that. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I I don't open carry. So you know, if you, it, go ahead. Sorry. When you conceal carry, really conceal carry, and don't open carry. It's just bad news. Yeah, like the guy said, not all concealed carry positions are created equal. Most of the concealed can guns I've, quote unquote, made in public were those carried behind the hip to the small of the back location. I don't really. Well, what do you think of that position? 
Uh, I think it's a horrible position. One I do too. It's not a natural draw, position for you to uh, reach on. I, I, I if definitely. If I choose to disarm you, knowing that you're armed, there, uh, you got problems. Now, if you're if you're carrying a small enough handgun, and and you really have to have the the uh, uh, good pants for it, and you know what? A little R.I.P. to Kevin Meany, the comedian who died. He had this great routine which is apropos to this conversation right now. Wear big pants, people. Wear those tight pants. Your father doesn't wear tight pants. Don't wear tight pants and conceal carry if you're going to go the route that I'm talking about, which is pocket carry. And make sure you have a good sticky holster and make sure you practice with an empty gun and make sure you safety check it before you practice pulling it out of your pocket quickly. That's That's... That's, uh, you know, if I were theoretically to carry, that would be mo- that would mostly be my choice. But if I were to conceal carry and not in the pocket, then it would be inside the waist. What about you? If you were theoretically to carry, conceal. If I were to carry, I would say inside the waist with a shirt hanging over and you're good to go. Um, yeah. So there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a right way and a wrong way to carry. And also, what, in whatever way that you carry, make sure that you practice retrieving your gun in, uh, you know, in a in a quick manner. And that also means if you're going to practice, make sure the gun is empty. Make sure you safety check it before you do anything else. Am I? Can I get a hollow? Can I get a hollow on that? Yeah, but I would also say. I've seen plenty of dudes that uh, don't have good booger hook discipline. Yes. And who haven't taken the uh, NRA's uh, booger hook (laughs) safety course. Yeah, you need the booger hook safety course, that's for sure. And I highly recommend, if you are going to conceal carry or carry or own, to take the safety courses. Um, I think that would be a great place to start. And the other place to start... Is by not letting people know you carry if you conceal carry. Yeah, that's why the, the guy messed up. Yeah, yeah, that's why you conceal carry. And we're about ready. We're 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 just done with this segment. This is just a uh, yeah. So I so valuable. I learned valuable thing. Booger hook is a real term and uh, it's used by uh, people who regularly shoot. Uh, so that's understandable why you didn't know it. When we come back, we're about ready to go to break here, dude. And when we come back, yeah, it is. At at the range. At the range, yes, booger hook. Uh, When we come back, we're going to be talking tech, tech, and let's face it. Everybody hates politicians and most government policies. And most libertarian shows spend their time talking about the non-aggression principle, philosophy, and who would build my roads. But not Liberty Lampoon. Every week we lambast politicians, public figures, policies in print, all from a libertarian perspective. No one is safe. Our offensive interludes, brash rhetoric, and ad hominem attacks are just what the doctor ordered. We applaud those other shows for their good work. But at the end of the day, someone's got to call these monsters out. Look for Liberty Lampoon on your favorite podcast platform. And be sure to follow us on Twitter at Liberty Lampoon for the most up-to-date hate speech against the state. So you started a local business and you're just waiting for the people to beat a path to your site. And waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, you can keep on waiting or you can get results with Real Blue Media. Get the results you want. More sales, more influence, votes, donors, whatever. Real Blue Media offers a full range of new media and traditional media services for companies and organizations to communicate effectively and achieve their desired results. Well-connected, experienced, and highly ethical, we strive to meet your expectations and then exceed them time after time. Whatever your project, whether big or small, we have the people and the tools to serve you and make you a success. Call 717-503-1645 and schedule your free consultation today. Or visit us at regalbluemedia.com. That's regalbluemedia.com.
Tired of those guns that don't shoot themselves? Do you wish you too had one of those guns that shoots 30 clips a second? How about a gun with a bullet button that will convert your single shot bolt action rifle to an automatic assault weapon? Well, have we got the gun for you? You've heard all those politicians talking about this gun, but you didn't think it was real, right? Well, it's real. It's called the Super Duper Crap It's Real Gun. That's right, the Super Duper Crap It's Real Gun. And now you can buy this gun for only $5 by just calling this number one. 800 get a gun that's 1-800 get a gun just give us an address and pay cod when we deliver it the super duper crap it's real gun finally an automatic assault weapon that will mow down your neighbors all by itself brought to you by the makers of invisible passports the indestructible passport for the savage terrorist that wants to make sure people remember him after he's gone this gun may not be available in any of the 50 states or in any of the countries that exist on the planet today if you do actually call 1-800 get a gun you might not actually get through to an operator that's actually selling the super duper crap it's real gun this is a parody commercial intended to trigger the activities of your gun phobic state worshiping friend Full Auto is intended for purely entertainment purposes. Any relation to any actual person living or dead is purely coincidental. We are not responsible for the results that might befall you. Did you ever actually take our advice about anything? Full Auto is a zip cut, no gov licensed show. This means you are free to reuse this content any way you see fit, so long as you are not a representative or advocate of government. For more information, go to zipcut.org. And now, without further delay, here are your hosts, Dimitri and Paul. Hey folks, we're back, and we are back with the segment called "Not Your Father's Eight Heart." No, nope. your grandfather's eight. That's better. That's better. Or yeah. your grandpappy's, or your great great grandpappy's AR. Actually, not your father's AR too. too. Yeah, it could be. It's your father, not your father's AR, not your grandpappy's AR, not your grand grandpappy's AR. Your AR. Well, here's the thing about that. I thought you were going to go on the booger hook thing again because you were like no. so fascinated. With it. During the break, I, while we were listening to the commercials, he was just go. I it was just re- a song. He, he created a booger hook booger. song. We're not going to sing it now, so don't no. don't ask us. And then I also remembered that that famous line from the Planet of the Apes: "Get your damn dirty ape hands, off, right. oh, sorry, booger hooks off me. <laughs> Get your booger hooks off of me, you filthy ape." I think that's how he said it. Oh, I think he said "damn dirty ape." I think he said that. He but did. He did. I was here, being more. In this segment, something has occurred to me about the AR platform. It is becoming the the difference in paradigm between, let's say, the AR and the bolt action, is similar to the shift in paradigm between the bolt action and the muzzle loader. It is a radical departure, but one that kind of changes things like dramatically. When you think of how people were accustomed to, why are you putting your hand up? Because we're gonna play the uh, bump. You forgot the bump. We gotta play the bump, dude. I can't even make my point with you. You can. You can. Stick, you stick to the radio programming. We have to yes, we do. Hold on. Let, let's play we this bump. That. Let's play this bump. We're playing it now. Tactic, the high and low tech, and tactic of self-defense. Am I back? Is the bump done? Are we the done bump the is bump? done. Well, the music is fading out now. It's gone. Yes, the bump is done. The bump is done. Anyway, you, you, you go ahead. So... After the muzzle loader, you had some, you know, variations with breech loaders and lever actions. 
But the, the predominant uh, platform that develops from that era is really the bolt action. And the bolt action lasted for quite some time. And the variations within the bolt action are tremendous. Now, the paradigm shift is away from the bolt action, even as a hunting platform, and towards the modern sporting rifle, if I may. Hey, the modern sporting rifle! You mean the yeah. assault rifle? Yeah, and that AR, AR means assault rifle? Firing 30 clips a second? The clipazines. The clipazines a second? See, yeah, but it's not an assault rifle because an assault rifle is fully auto and the modern sporting rifle. That's the name of our show. Fully. Correct. It's our not. show is an assault weapon. It is to some people. Um, Probably that guy in that last story that. Uh, and even the though the AR gun control starts off bugger guy. really is a 308 and then is modified to the 556. It stuck as a 5.56 five, for years, and although people tinkered with it here and tinkered with it there, it, it was predominantly 5.56. Five, but now in the marketplace, or in the marketplace, there are so many different calibers and variations coming out. And it's not just in the smaller calibers, in the 2.23s and 25 calibers and such, and the 6.5s and, and what have you. But there's also some much much larger calibers coming out uh, i mean i've come across the 338 federal the 30-06 the 308 the ar-10s are evolving dramatically as well i mean there there's a company out there making a 300 win mag in a, oh yes and, and hold oh. on it gets better it gets better the 338 win mag Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, I I watched a YouTube video of some dude shooting a four five eight Winchester oh. Magnum. That's essentially that's 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 an it's elephant an elephant gun. That's a, yeah. Yes, yes. And and that I mean, do you remember the uh, the segment we did on the right caliber for Bigfoot? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, with these calibers on this platform. I think we originally said shotgun, but yeah. but you got an I mean, AR, the, dude. The four fifty eight, the pound foot at the muzzle is five thousand pound foot at the muzzle. That that's a lot. Insane. That's Bigfoot lot. That's like Bigfoot lot. Well, that's elephant. Yeah, that's yeah. elephant. That's so rhino. That's when when we get we're about ready to go to break here, and Again. and Dimitri. Are we going to a bump? No, we're going to a break. Oh, but when break. we when we get to the other side, Dimitri is going to navigate us uh, through us uh, uh, through us <laughs> navigate us through some of the calibers. We'll talk a little bit more detail and a little bit more about what right. this. Dude, that's all I got. That's it. <laughs> well, well, you better. That's a thirteen minute segment on the other side. We'll see you on the other side. If you're tuning into this broadcast, freedom is obviously important to you. But unfortunately, whatever small fraction of freedom you have left is disappearing rapidly as Leviathanic governments continue to pass law after law, restricting your natural right to your person and property. You also know that freedom can't be won through the slave suggestion system known as politics. Things can seem hopeless, but freedom is more possible than you realize. Liberty Under Attack presents the Direct Action Series, your guide to finding freedom now without asking for permission. It includes over 40 hours of pure solutions presented to you in an advertisement-free format with bonus content. You can get your copy of the Direct Action Series for only $10. And while supplies last, you'll receive an LUA Voluntarist Koozie for simply supporting LUA. What are you waiting for? Visit libertyunderattack.com backslash freedom now to secure your copy today. Again, libertyunderattack.com backslash freedom now. And make sure to tune in to LUA Radio Live at 7 p.m. Central every Thursday and Sunday on the Freedom Phalanx Radio Network. Have you ever asked yourself the question, who do you call when the police are harassing you? What if you're an activist and need help? 
Who do you trust enough to ask for help when your car breaks down or when you're being bullied at school or need medical help? What about a terrorist attack or a mass shooting? Well, Cell 411 is a fantastic new app that allows you to issue real-time emergency alerts to your family, neighbors, or friends, to one of them or many, in an instant with the tap of a finger. The emergency alert includes your exact GPS coordinates and your trusted friends will get turn-by-turn -turn directions to your location so they can come and help you in need. You'll be notified of an ETA, who's coming to help you, and when they'll arrive at your location. All this happens within seconds. Cell 411 is changing the way humans are handling emergencies all over the world. And the best thing about it is that it's completely free. It's not dependent on government or decades-old analog telephone networks to function. Whether you're a student, parent, neighborhood watcher, or activist, this app is for you. Give it a try and download it today from GetCell411.com. How you spell this? One and then eight hundred is two zeros, right? All right, so get. Wait a minute. How do I type type letters? I don't know how to dial letters. Oh, I, they're little letters next to the numbers. Okay, that might be it. So G's four, E, T, A, G, O. No, no, it's U, 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 N. All right. Give me one of them guns and mow down everybody. It's going to be great. Thank you for calling Delta Machinery Inquiry Service. Wait. Press 1 to locate the Delta distributor nearest you what or for product information. Press 2 for technical service technical. or to no, order parts directly from Delta. Press 3 for the number of the Delta International Machinery Headquarters. Delta International Press Machinery and Guns. Press 4 to options. Item go 1, product service. Oh, medical. The nearest emergency room. Medical if emergency. If you are concerning a routine office matter, please press zero to speak with the at the hours dispatcher. What? If you are a research. No, I just need one of them guns. If you have questions for the doctor. No, I need that gun that most people. Lady, dispatcher. can you hear me? I need a gun that mows everybody down. I tell you what, that guy in that show told me about it. Wait, what? No, you disconnected me. Oh hell, it's terrible customer service, man. I'll just go back to Smith & Wesson. Fuck this sh commie shit. Are you tired of your taxes funding endless occupations around the world? Antiwar.com is run by people who understand that wars abroad become wars at home. Wars on our freedoms. Antiwar.com is dedicated to bringing you the latest in news, views, interviews, and reviews from the top movers and shakers in the anti-occupation movement. Antiwar.com has it all, from thorough foreign policy analysis to interviews with whistleblowers who used to run the military-industrial complex. Antiwar, pro-free market. That's Antiwar.com. So you're in charge here. Drive us, man. Uh, drive us. You know drive us in charge. All right, dude. So here's the deal. The 5.56 five, was a tremendous round. I hate it. I hate it. I think it's it's the wrong cartridge to go to war with. Like, I'm going to war. I'm going to battle. I'm going with a souped-up 22. Yeah, no thanks. I'd rather have a a low-power 30 cal than a souped-up 22. In I'm theory. I, I, okay. In theory. Okay. Until the, the, you start the two shooting. two three and the five five six does damage. Yeah. Serious damage. Until you start shooting the two two three, and seeing what it can do, and then you realize, holy guacamole, that is a superior cartridge, for all of the reasons stated above. 
uh, and those being everything that everyone constantly talks about, its inherent accuracy, its low recoil, uh, follow-up shots are easy, uh, carrying lots of ammo. Yeah, that's a big one. It's, it's a very big it's one. It's easier. They're, they're just so cost. many upsides. Cost. Yes, cost. cost. The upside of that cartridge is tremendous. But there's still this thing in the back of my head that says it's still a 22. And other people feel the same way. So if if you take the 5.56 five, and neck it up to a point two five seven, um, you get what they're calling a 25.45 sharps. And I am a right. big fan of that cartridge. Uh, I like the additional... Uh, girth and the additional grains that come with that cartridge but there are other calibers now that have been developed and some traditional calibers that are where the guns are being redesigned to take these uh, more traditional calibers uh, one of the most popular ones right now is the 300 blackout and I have friends who are big fans of that cartridge um if i had to choose i'd s probably stick with the 556 or go to the 2545 over the 300 blackout but i mean the 2545 not a very common uh, it's is it? not but you can you can get it up to 87 grains at 3000 feet per second you know you're getting a 556 in 3000 feet per second you know you're your foot pounds are somewhere around seventeen hundred. That's substantial for that cartridge. And this uh, is say again. What's the twenty five uh, forty five at? That's that's what the twenty five forty five. Oh, okay. Is. Quite comparable to the five five six. Only you have more uh, a larger grain bullet. So you have that. You have the three hundred blackout, but then you can. They're loading the AR platform with. 17 Remingtons with 204 Rugers with with uh, the 545 Soviet um, and the list goes on and on the, the different cartridges uh, the 25 WSSM the uh, the 6.5 Grendel uh, and one of my I gotta say all time favorites the 6.8 SPC um, that's a tremendous cartridge what do you like uh, about that cartridge? Uh, it has greater sectional density. It has uh, the six uh, millimeter versus the five five six. It's almost a s it's almost a seven millimeter. Um, but speaking of seven millimeters, I believe it was Remington that was offering their uh, their air arc. Thank tent. thank you for that. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, that was a special effect that we had specially made. The Dimitri was not actually moving his microphone around and making a rustling noise. We added that special effect. So that's why you pay us the big bucks, folks, because yeah. that kind of special, that, that right, that, that, that's costing yeah. us. That's like thousands of dollars of high tech that went into making that very realistic sound. Can you, can, can, can I you hear? Feel that? Can you feel it? Can oh, I, I, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it very much. I feel like new so co-host. That's how I feel. <laughs> but go ahead. So they took their A10 and modified it just in the barrel to to accommodate the uh, seven millimeter 08. And now, now you're talking about a whole world, uh, a whole different world uh, in cartridges and in capabilities. <laughs> I'm okay. This is his microphone. He's okay. So let's tell the story here, folks. This is he's got a new microphone. We are actually doing the show for the first time where he is not actually in the room with me. He is Skyping in. He's got a new microphone, and it's kind of a little bit tricky figuring out the distance. Like if you get too close, you get that popping. I don't want to be too close. And you also get it kind of sounds muffled, and then if you're too far away, it sounds like you're you're talking inside an empty butt. No, no, I don't know what you're doing there. So let's uh, uh, let's go about six inches and let's see what that's like. Go ahead and talk. See, this is a 
Folks, this is what it takes to make these quality shows. Go ahead. Can you hear me now? Yeah, a little bit closer. Can you hear me now? Yeah, okay. So I, I need to duct tape this by onto like a board that I can then duct tape to my chin. Yes, and probably not rocking back and forth so you can make noise is also a good idea. How do you hear me rocking back and forth? I can see you. You're not rocking back and forth. I mean, I can't hear, but I, I see you doing you it. And I, I can't even move? You, you can move, but, but you don't, you know, you don't say I'm rocking back and forth. But back to the AR. Why are you... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are actually full auto. This is not an audio show. This is a gun. Well, Thank you. self-defense I, show. I don't think most people care. I they do. You Everybody care. cares. Care. I care. They call me an audio Nazi for good reason. So, the AR-10 takes the AR back to its original roots to the 308. But now, they're, it's being chambered in stuff like 30-06. That is huge. Yeah, I'm, my mouth is watering. I mean, the prospect. to see people shooting an AR chambered in 30 on 6 reliably and accurately and watching 100-yard shots that are landing within the size of a quarter. I mean, this this is an impressive platform. Um, and I would expect to see uh, these cartridges to appear on battlefields in this in this configuration. Because they offer stopping power at long range that uh, the five five six can't, couldn't dream of. Yeah, the, the, the yeah the five five six does not have knockdown power at long range. Definitely, I mean short range. Yeah, you're it's, gonna the five five six gonna be hurdy for you. The five five six is good is a good assault rifle cartridge ah! for in close and personal. So I had to make the that sound. When you said assault rifle, I got a flummoxed. Yes, they 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 extend effective range way out past 100 yards, past 500 yards, uh, closer to um, to a thousand yards or a thousand meters, which is obviously a kilometer. Um, it it changes the dynamics, and when you look at somebody shooting. A 300 win mag out of an AR type platform uh, with one hand because of the recoil mitigation. One of the main issues with the, let's say, the M1 Garand and the M14 was the recoil. Most guys couldn't handle it. Now you have ARs set up with 300 win mags that you can shoot with one hand. I mean, this is nuts. Yeah, uh, and if you want to go to YouTube and Google uh, Demolition Derby, 300 win mag. I mean, the Demolition Derby. Ah! Demolition Ranch. You can can edit that out. No, I won't edit it out. Uh, I I live with my mistakes. I chose Dimitri for this show, and I'm living with that mistake. See, folks, I live with my mistakes. So... Google or YouTube Demolition Ranch 300. Just I, I bet you if you just put in 300 AR, it'll show up, and and watch what happens. Now the very beginning of the video, I will warn you in advance. He does this little thing where he's making some. It's pretty cool what he made actually. The uh, gun thing for his his truck. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And folks that watch it, one of them. Oh yeah, but so so like the first three four minutes, uh, it's actually it's actually worth watching because it's really uh, cool what he built. Informative in and instructive. Very, absolutely, uh, and then you get to see him fire his AR three hundred Win Mag with one arm, no problem. And it's like, oh my gosh, this is a six thousand dollar gun. And both Dimitri and I, we agreed if we had six thousand dollars to spend on a gun, it would so be spent. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, you could easily spend five, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 on a traditional double-barrel hunting rifle, uh, one of the express cartridges, 
for African hunting, or you can get this for six grand, and you'd be like, wow. Yeah, I, I had this uh, stupid fantasy of having a, uh, uh, was it a Barrett uh, BMG? And, uh, yeah, I don't care about that gun anymore. This is so much more, this is more practical. And 300 Win Mag, it'll do the job. At a long distance, it'll do the job. It will, it will, it will kill you dead from a long distance. Yeah. I, I would take the 338 Win Mag. I would take that. Well, if it has the same kind of recoil <laughs> that, that this, because, uh, because, uh, you you've actually fired the 300 Win Mag from a bolt action, and what was that like? Well, there's bolt actions and then there's bolt actions. You can get a bolt action with a muzzle brake that will take down a lot of uh, recoil, but mine, the one that I was shooting, had no such thing. And if you shoot it repeatedly, it beats the crap out of you. It really does. And, and we're going to end on that note. Uh, it so beats the crap out of you. It beats the crap out of you. So, so there's a lot of uh, options out there for the AR platform that goes way beyond so the 223 five size 6 and a lot of get the, the one that right for you. Get? You know what the right... Full well, Auto is intended for purely entertainment purposes and in relation to any actual person living or dead is purely coincidental. We are not responsible for the results that might be you. Did you ever actually take our advice about anything? Full well, Auto is a zip cap no-gov license show. This means you are free to reuse this content any way you see fit so long as you are not a representative or advocate of government. For more information, go to zipcap.org. The Freedom Fiends now have a free app for your Android phone, tablet, phablet, or other Chrome robot turd available now from the Google Play Store, Amazon, and FreedomFiends.com. Lovingly handcrafted by head hamster Michael W. Dean, the artisanal Freedom Fiends radio app allows you to listen live, keep up with the podcast, chat directly with other fiends, get discounts on bigger buttons, brainwash yourself with a 24-7 random episode, and so much more. You know the Freedom Fiends is the best libertarian radio show in the world, but when the fiends aren't live, you can use the app to listen to LRN.FM from anywhere. The Freedom Fiends radio app is like having a virtual libertarian re-education camp in your pocket. It's your gateway to the exclusive high-demand group that is the Freedom Fiends. Install the Freedom Fiends radio Android app today. It's free and, of course, it's covered by the Bipcot No Government License. Tell two friends, review it on Google Play and Amazon, prepare for the inevitable death of terrestrial radio, and get ready for LibPair with the Freedom Fiends radio app for Android Worms. Worms. Do you have a group or organization founded on the principles of personal liberty, health freedom, or accountable government? We invite you to check out Same Side Entertainment. Get connected with leaders in the liberty movement like Tom Woods, Kevin Gutzman, Jack Hunter, Robert Scott Bell, Michael Scheuer, and many more. Find us on Facebook, Twitter, and our website at www.samesideentertainment.com. Again, that's www.samesideentertainment.com. Same Side Entertainment, connecting you with the education and resources you need. Tune in to Post Politics. You know, and I'm like, I swear to God, I'll never forgive that bitch for as long as I live. With Trip Hugh. What a dick. You always gotta get ahead of me. Yeah, dude, I'm gonna be one up in your ass, man. And Zach Odom. Nah, dude, today's been a rough day, man. I'm an asshole. Where we believe in karma. I like to say I deserve the daughter. <laughs> right, I, I, yes, I, yes. <laughs> Intellectual pop culture analysis. You got a bunch of people talking country nowadays, and it's all pop music as far as I'm concerned. I call it cut pop. Tune in on Wednesdays and Sundays from 9 p.m. Eastern to 11. You can listen to us on jrevradio.com, Raz Radio Live, and you can search us through the TuneIn app. This is Post Politics saying, turn on, tune in, rebel. watching a demonstration of the most authentic cap pistol in the world.
It has exclusive fanning action and shoots safe shooting shells with greeny stickum caps. The gun and hip slung Mattel holster are specially made for a fast draw. All of Mattel's shooting shell fanners and holsters carry the true stamp of the Old West. And every boy will walk tall when he wears a holster and pistol with a Mattel brand. You can tell it's Mattel. It's swell. So you started a local business and you're just waiting for the people to beat a path to your site. And waiting and waiting and waiting. Well, you can keep on waiting or you can get results with Real Blue Media. Get the results you want. More sales, more influence, votes, donors, whatever. Regal Blue Media offers a full range of new media and traditional media services for companies and organizations to communicate effectively and achieve their desired results. Well-connected, experienced, and highly ethical, we strive to meet your expectations and then exceed them time after time. Whatever your project, whether big or small, we have the people and the tools to serve you and make you a success. Call 717-503-1645 and schedule your free consultation today or visit us at regalbluemedia.com. That's regalbluemedia.com. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am so happy that you're here. Come on into the big tent. What? <laughs> happy ending! We are finally in happy ending after all the doom and gloom. Well, well, actually, the last segment was not doom and gloom at all. It's pretty good. I enjoyed the last segment. So this segment is called "Save Yourself, Share the Gun News." Happy ending. Remember, folks, you. All righty then. Is that better? Do you like that? Could I just say, all righty then. Oh, I got to work out these. That's these. obnoxious. I'll do what I want, man. I'll do what I want. You're not the boss of me. Seriously? Are you? You know what? I didn't sign no social are contract. There ain't no social contract between you and me. You, I ain't bound you to you. Are you trying to lose listeners? Uh, <laughs> It's a, I don't need to try. It's, it's a. It's a skill that I was born with. I'm I'm quite adept at it. We're going to be reading from WIBW.com. WIBW. WIBW.com. IBW. WIBW.com. We'll just do that for the rest of the show and not even read the story. So this is Ashley Mundy says the night of October 8th, 2015 started out like any other night. She says she fell asleep in her bed with her then four-year-old son, Braden, but later woke up to the sound of glass breaking. Mundy said she got up, grabbed her nine millimeter handgun and found her neighbor, Bruce Jolly, disarming her security system. That's when she decided to shoot. I was there alone with my child. My dad encouraged me to get a conceal and carry, and I just felt like it was the thing to do at the time, said Mundy. Stop, stop honing on me, Dimitri. I know when I do the women voices, you're like, oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Creepy. You're just going to have to. <laughs> that's not what you're Creepy. thinking. Uh, so uh, uh, he he ran off. They called 911. He got arrested. Uh, and How was he able to turn off her alarm? I don't know, but we don't have a lot of time, so I'm gonna. Re- I want to get to the. Give him the code. Oh my gosh! I gotta get to the money. Sh- the, the, the 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 big the so big moment here. Oh, come on, start editing. Hey, Do I'm not job. going. To, no, you're making my life hard. He had method his system, uh, and uh, she said the, the woman said at the time everyone was like, "How did he survive that?" And I think uh, at the time the drugs were what allowed him to survive the shot because it was a it was a hollow tip. I don't know what that means. I don't think she well, does either. <laughs> It was a hollow tip. Hey, it was look, a hollow if tip. You're, if you're a See, criminal, make sure you take lots of drugs because it'll help you survive the but, hollow tip. But but what I, what, well, what I want to focus on here is what she said to because this is a this is a news story. It was done just recently, but it was uh, covering what happened about a year ago. Uh, and she said, I think when something like this happens, you think the worst. I worry about Braden every day, and with that situation, I can't imagine what he could have witnessed. You don't have to have a conceal and carry. 
I think she means just a concealed carry license, to have a gun in your home. And why wouldn't you want to protect yourself? Why wouldn't you want the same weapons or defense like the people that could be coming to your home in these situations? So I applaud this woman, even though she doesn't know what a hollow point is. And uh, apparently she doesn't know what a concealed carry license is. But I still applaud and she her. she doesn't know that drugs won't save your life from a bullet. Right. She doesn't. Well, that's another story. You know, but you wonder. Her, her uh, she, she spread the good control. news of gun. She spread the yeah. good news of gun. And for that, uh, we salute she you. Big, we just. Gold star. Maybe. Yeah, she gets. I, you know, I wonder if she knows what a booger finger is. I should call her up and say, hey, hey, I didn't see you there. Do you know what a booger finger Why are you hanging up? Why are you hanging up You called it a booger finger. Do you know what a booger trigger is? Your Yeah, booger booger trigger. Booger hook. Booger hook. I'm sorry. Booger finger. Now, do you know what a booger hook is? Because I I think that it's about time that you learn. So, folks, it's about uh, time we put an end to this show. It's about time that we put an end to this show. We're going to go to a brief, brief, very brief break here. And then we're going to uh, do uh, a quick wrap up of the show. And during the break, we will discuss whether there'll be an after show or not. And we'll let you know. We will be sure. We'll, we will let you know on the other side after we have collaborated and commiserated and calculated and responded in all the ways that are right and proper for us to do so. So on that note, hey. go okay. ahead. No, no, just say it real quick. You got three seconds. Well, go. Would the after show if I was like, doing it from the toilet? I really and like to we'll see you on the other side. Full Auto is intended for purely entertainment purposes and in relation to any actual person, living or dead, is purely coincidental. We are not responsible for the results that might befall you should you ever actually take our advice about anything. Full Auto is a zip cap, no gov license show. This means you are free to reuse this content any way you see fit, so long as you are not a representative or advocate of government. For more information, go to zipcap.org. And here we are again. But we have some grim news. Grim, grim news. We've consulted grim with news. the stars and the tea leaves. The and augers stars, were called. The Hollywood stars. And the because augers were all called. Knowing. They're all knowing. And, right. They told us who to vote for, and now they also told us that there's going to be no after show. No yeah, after show. they disagree with our vote. So Was that it? I thought that they were a little bit ticked off at uh, the, uh, the, the mentioning of all of the calibers. It's kind of a – literally kind of triggered them. So, so – Triggered them? We, they had a trigger? They, oh, they had dude. their they had their – we we had our booger hooks on the trigger and it made them very nervous. And they triggered them. And they triggered them, right. So we want to give a, a shout out once again to our new syndicate partner, IPMNation.com, which also syndicates shows like Freedom Fiends, Free Talk Live, and All Natural Being. And we want to thank you all for joining us on this full auto plus hour. In this case, just an hour. Of a gun filled, self filled what what self filled? I don't know what the heck I was trying to say there. Of a gun-filled zone. Be sure you visit our show, by the way, at fullautoshow.com. And, Dimitri, do you have any last words to say to our Are studio audience? Me? This Are you was sure? an hour show. This, I mean, they go by so fast, don't they? Wow. It's a, it's, it's, I, they're like children. They grow up and then they... They grow up and then they go out on their own. And, and you die old and lonely. Yes. Oh, wait, sorry. That's something And else. We, we definitely want to thank all of our new listeners. We're, we're slowly but steadily growing. We're at over 150 Ooh. live listens. We're over 200 listens for the last show already. And I'm getting more and more people that are randomly contacting me and, and telling me how much they like the show. And Dimitri's not on Facebook, so he doesn't know. So, Dimitri, why don't you hit us up? Why don't you go ahead and uh, hit us up with one of your sign-offs? Kalinikta. And what does Kalinikta mean? Good night. Good night. That's a simple one. Kalinikta. And I could say it. So, ladies and gentlemen, good night from New Shooting Self-Defenses, Full Auto, with Dimitri and, and Paul. Paul. We'll, we'll see you next week. I have no idea what we're going to talk about. We'll find out.